hands. No matter what camera you're shooting with, what brand you use, if you're flying a drone, you need the dexterity of your fingers to push the buttons and the shutter and the dials and the switches. Now, I don't mean when it's a bit warmer and you can get away with fingerless gloves, or even when it's a little cooler and you need full gloves. I'm talking when it's minus 35 out or colder and you have to use your camera still and you can't use fingerless gloves. Everything just starts to suck really quickly. So PGY Tech have come out with these heated photography gloves and some bags but we'll talk more about those later. Now when I hear gloves, it doesn't sound like anything that exciting, but surprisingly there's actually a decent amount of features and tech involved in the making of winter photography heated gloves. So these are actually heated by something called graphene film, which runs around the glove just below the knuckles. And it's powered by a little USB-C battery bank in here. One in each glove, 4,000 milliamp hours. There's a little indicator on there which shows you how much power is left on the battery and it just plugs in via USB-C. Now you can actually use these as portable battery chargers as well if you wanted to. To power the gloves on, you just click and hold the button on the outside here when they are plugged in and you have three levels. You have low, you have medium, and you have high. So you actually get heat just below the knuckles and all the way around the thumb, and you feel it under 20 seconds. Now an important note here with batteries is typically batteries don't like cold temperatures. The batteries in these have been tested to work and produce heat for the gloves, at minus 35 Celsius for a minimum of an hour and a half. So with the actual glove itself, well, you can pull this bit over, that's gonna keep your hand warm. This bit here, these are touch screens, so you can use it for your phone, with your drone, and then you can actually retract these fingers as well. They call this a three finger flip design, and there's little tiny magnets to actually hold those in place when they're retracted. On the actual palm itself, this is real genuine leather, so it's nice and grippy, waterproof. Up here, YKK zipper, and this is actually a pocket. This is one I had to fact check. There's something called a Hippora, which is a brand in itself, insert, sewn into the glove. That's actually waterproof and breathable. 3M insulation throughout the entire glove. The cuff down here, nice and big to go over your jacket. That's windproof. This is rubber, it's adjustable, so you can get it as tight or as loose as you want. Velcro, obviously. And like the design of ski gloves, they have a little strap there which allows you to take them off and not put them on the floor or lose them. So PGY Tech actually makes three different kinds of these gloves. These ones are called the Master. This is like the highest end one they do. These are $129.95. They also make the Professionals, which are $49.95. They don't have any heating in them. And then there's also the Fingerless for $34.95. So this is exactly what I mean. I need to take out the sticks for the DJI controller here. and there's no way I'd be able to do that with gloves actually on. So this is where you need things like the finger dexterity to be able to do that. I went to take this off the other day for real estate and I was like, I have not used this in a very, very long time because it was still set to your. <laughs> I went to fly and I was like, damn it, Garrett. <laughs> yeah, I think there's something wrong with mine. I'm getting like the shakiness. Who is calling me? Hello? Oh, hi, is this uh, Chris? Speaking. The other thing that you've probably seen in this video already is the new slings that they brought out. This is the One Go Sling V2. This is the 10 litre one. There's also a six litre and there's also a four litre. In terms of the actual strap itself, this is just like seatbelt material and there's a foam padded strap up the top here, which you can obviously move depending on where you like to have it on your shoulder. I didn't actually notice that till a second ago. There's a little tiny thing there which you can pull to Make it smaller and bigger. The whole thing is splash proof, water resistant. Is that the same thing, splash proof? Throw a snowball out and sit splash on. <laughs> Back zipper here, it actually fits something that doesn't really look like it should fit in there. I have my iPad Pro 12.9 in here with the Apple keyboard on there, but that will actually fit a 14 inch MacBook Pro as well. On the side just here, there's actually a little tiny concealed bag which you can use for a water bottle if you wanted to put that in there. And then when you don't want to use it, you can just tuck it back in. If you use an iPad like I do, there's actually a little tiny loop there to put your stylus, which is a nice touch. Hello again. We've got three main zipper compartments on here. You've got one at the back here for your iPad or your MacBook Pro. The main compartment and then one on the front as well. Within the main compartment itself, there are multiple configurations with the dividers, which are all Velcro, multiple pockets, multiple zippers. A lot of the pockets have nice magnet closes on there as well. So it just gives you that little tactile feel that it's closed together. A lot of elasticated areas for you to put things in and just walk about for your everyday carry bag. Inside the bag, in the front of the zipper, when you get it, are two little straps which hook onto the bottom. Now they're not big enough to attach a tripod, but if you wanted to put a jacket or a shirt rolled up, that would fit in there nicely. That just gives you a way then to 
hold something extra on the bottom and then I'll have to carry it or put it in the sling. One of my favorite things in the main zipper, in the front there's an inside zipper which opens up and has additional pockets. Now two of those pockets are actually for batteries. Where those batteries go, there are actually little magnets that attach to the outside and they're reversible. They're green on one side, red on the other. So when you put a battery in, if it's charged, put a magnet on there, it's green, lets you know that it's ready to go. Now a big thing that people obviously want to know about with a sling this size, this is a 10 litre, what can you fit? So in my loadout right here, I actually have my A7R5 with a 50 mil F1.2. I have the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Now I did actually have my A7C Mark II in there as well with a little tiny 40 mil F2.5 on there. That fit in there nicely as well. Then I have the Mini 3 Pro, which we just realized is actually broken and I got to take apart and repair. The DJI Remote and then a couple of batteries, tools, and there's still a decent amount of space in there. So it fits a deceivingly a large amount of things, not to mention the fact that you do have the iPad MacBook Pro space at the back there too. If you're interested in these heated gloves, any of the slings, anything we talked about in today's video, there will be links down below for everything. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.